Mr. Dippin Gamer here with you today, bringing you a brand new Call of Duty video. Notice how I didn't say gameplay video. So what does this mean? James, you're holding out videos on us? No. No, I am not. Doing this to help you. Don't give me any crap about it. <laughs> I noticed that a... The other day I was playing, and I noticed that there's a bunch... There's a surplus of... Christmas Day noobs playing, and y'all are tell you're all you guys are just terrible, absolutely horrible, bad, bad, really bad. But hey, no need to worry. That's why I'm here. I'm going to help you. <laughs> no offense to you guys that just got this game on Christmas. You might be fine without me, um, but I'm just going to give you some tips and hints and tricks and. I was about to say dicks, but that comes later. <laughs> We're going to show you my loadouts, and it's going to cover all the competition type loadouts you'd see in MLG and things of that nature. You're going to see my team deathmatch, the one I used to run and gun and just kill a bunch of people. And I'm Rambo! <laughs> Fear me! Um, so yeah, you're going to see these types of loadouts. So let's get right into it, shall we? You've seen me be weird enough for far too long. So, let's get into it. First class up is the BAL 27, well, is the, not the BAL 27 class, I have a bunch of BAL 27s. The first one up is Team Deathmatch Kill Confirm. So, what we have here is the BAL 27 Assaulter. Now, if you don't have this variant, it's okay. Use the regular BAL um, or any other BAL or, or any other gun that you feel comfortable with. I use the BAL because it's basically the best gun in the game, no matter what anybody tells you no matter what your mama tells you okay battle 27 best gun in the game next to the asm1 but we'll get into that later we're jumping ahead of schedule all right but this one okay we got the battle 27 assaulter with the quick draw grip four grip and a red dot sight what we also have is lightweight i like my person running faster just a preference fast hands i like him reloading faster just a preference Scavenger. I'm always running out of ammo after five kills. I don't know why. Scavenger helps. You pick up ammo from dead bodies. Awesome. Blast Suppressor just keeps you off that radar and pretty much makes you invisible. Uh, what we also have is Overclock. I run faster to the person I want to kill. And one frag, even though I hardly ever use it. Uh, up in the top right, we have one score streak. If my controller would start working correctly. We have the UAV as our score streak. So let's get into the next one, shall we? Next one is my submachine gun class, which is also a team deathmatch, kill confirm. If I'm feeling a little frisky that day, I mean, you took a couple more Red Bulls than I was supposed to, I'll go ahead and run this one in kill, I mean, hardcore, not hardcore, Jesus, what am I saying? God damn it. Mr. Dipping Gamer, what is wrong with you? Nothing. Nothing is wrong with me. <laughs> uh, if I'm feeling frisky, I'll go ahead and run this one in hard point and domination as well. But we'll get into those classes later. Uh, for this one is the ASM1 competence. Of course, you can use the regular competence or after I mean regular ASM1. Or if you already have quite a few kills, I heard the magnitude, the one that you get after 200 or 300 kills, that one's actually a really good gun as well. Better than this one, anyways. Um, Go ahead and use that one. Uh, on this gun, I have the foregrip, red dot sight, and advanced rifling. What advanced rifling does is it extends your range, so you can kill from further distance away with less bullets. That's pretty much what it does. And I think it increases it like 10 or 30 yards. You, I don't quote me on that one. You'd have to do your own test or check a different video. I don't have those exact numbers, I just noticed that I was able to kill people from further away when I put on advanced rifling. So, for my perks is lightweight, fast hands, blast suppressor and scavenger, everything that you just saw, XO ability is overclock. I'm not running a grenade this time, instead I switched that out for another score streak, of course I'm using UAV, and the second score streak is missile strikes. <coughs> Now, here, here we get into the competition style um, classes, and what we have first is the search and destroy. 
what we have here is the Bow 27 Assaulter um, with a foregrip suppressor and a quick draw grip with low profile. Now the reason I pick low profile instead of lightweight, you don't really have to be as fast in search and destroy. It's a very, it's a very slow methodical play. Uh, instead I went with low profile that way I'm invisible to UAVs, tracking rounds, and XO ping. So the next one is fast hands and <clears throat> blast suppressor and hardwired. Now I picked hardwired because I hate, 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 hate with a passion. I just want to kill anybody who uses system hacks. System hacks are the worst score streak in the game. It's just absolutely terrible. Makes your TV or whatever you're playing on, your monitor, your HD TV, makes it look like you're freaking back in the 50s with a terrible, terrible TV. No offense to anybody from the 50s that use those. Terrible. You guys had terrible, terrible technology. Look where we are now. <laughs> so, I, if you don't mind that crap on your screen, then don't use hardwire. If you mind it, run hardwire. And I just hate the people that spam it and search and destroy, which is why you don't see a um, uh, uh, system hack in any of my classes because I don't want to put that ill fortune on anybody else. So. Along with that, I have the Exo Mute device. Sorry, we got off a little top, uh, got off topic there a little bit, but let's get back into this, shall we? We have the Exo Mute device, and what this is going to do is, for those people that are sound whoring uh, the game, uh, it's going to make you virtually impossible to hear. So you can sneak around those bomb sites easier, and without really worrying too much about them hearing you. And one stun grenade, so I can stun check the bomb or a certain area where there's high traffic just to get a, a a sense of where they're at or where they're going and for my score streak I have a UAV of course because knowing where your enemy's coming is always the best for my domination and hardpoint classes I have the Bell 27 which might be switching over to a submachine gun I'm not 100 percent sure yet um, it, it's really just map dependent. I might make an extra class and just put a sub in there. But for the Domination Hardpoint, we have uh, BAL 27 Assaulter with Foregrip and Quick Draw. And for our perks, we have Overcharge. And Overcharge, what that, is, what that does is it extends your EXO abilities by double. So <clears throat> it comes in handy. I'll get to more why I chose that in a bit. Uh, next we have Fast Hands, Toughness, and Blast Suppressor. reason I picked Toughness was because I need, when, when I was getting shot it was very hard to keep my sights on one particular guy and when you're getting shot that happens when you don't have Toughness on. When you have Toughness on it's so much easier to keep your sight on that one guy that way you can guarantee a kill. Now for my EXO abilities I have Overclock. Getting to that BDOM, that B domination point the quickest is key to winning domination getting to the hard point quickest and setting up your your squad around that hard point to defend it properly properly is key as well so that's why I have overclock on um, and next is stim the reason why I have stim on is because you're gonna be in these hard points you're gonna be on dom on the B dom or a dom or C dom whichever one I went out of order there don't judge me I don't know my ABCs. <laughs> um, you're going to have people shooting at you from all directions and having a leg up on with stim being a little tougher to kill is going to give you those opportunities to turn around and get those world star kills. You turn around and you kill people and yeah it's, it helps. It helps quite a bit actually. And for my score streak we have the UAV. So like I said before, uh, overcharge actually helps quite a bit with those exo abilities. It extends the time, so that's why I run overcharge instead of lightweight. Next up is uplink. I love uplink with a passion. It's one of my favorite game modes. I can act like LeBron James, Kobe, Shaquille O'Neal, LeBron James. I think I already said him, and and include and throw in James Bond in there, and then you get the LeBron, LeBron Bond. Yeah. I'm LeBron Bond up in here, alright? 
So, <laughs> for Uplink, we have a BAL-27, which might be switching to a submachine gun as well. You run faster with the submachine guns than you do with the uh, assault rifles. So, I might be switching this one over. I just barely thought of that right now. So, BAL-27 Assaulter with a quick draw grip and a foregrip. And then for the perks, we have lightweight, overcharged, fast hands, blast suppressor, and toughness. With the exo abilities, it's going to be the same ones that you saw in Domination and Hardpoint. So we have Overclock and Exo Stim. And that's pretty much going to do it for the competition style uh, classes that I have. Uh, next, what you're going to see is stuff that I've been just messing around with, ex experimenting with, seeing what what's worth playing and what's not worth playing with. And first up is the Paytech Heavy Machine Gun. I've been playing with this. Uh, pretty much all the perks that you're going to see on this side, uh, it's everything that you'd see in Team Deathmatch because all these guns I'm testing in Team Deathmatch just to see what it's like in fa fast-paced combat. So I was working with the Paytech for a little bit. Didn't really like it that much. Uh, you really, it's really slow on turning. You need to up your sensitivity quite a bit to play with that gun. Next is the HBR3. Before patch, it was fantastic. After patch, it's quite crappy. And uh, the Moore's Lullaby, uh, still uh, not really a sniper per se. Might give it a shot but in this one I'm actually running cloak and I know I know people hate cloak I hate it as well which makes me a hypocrite but hey if they're gonna do it I'm gonna do it but not system hack which doesn't make any sense goes back to the hypocrite thing I'm getting off topic again aren't I mm -hmm. well <laughs> anyways exo cloak is just gonna give me a leg up because I am terrible at sniping but I won't be camping in a corner with Cloak anytime soon. I might just take it off completely. I, I really don't run Cloak at all. I actually haven't used this class yet, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. And next up is my shotgun class, which this one has overclock and stim, so I'm right up in your face shooting your guts out and pulling it out in front of you as you see your life go away. Oh, so deep, so dark, awesome. So this is my shotgun class. If you guys want to copy any of these classes, feel free to. And this one I was experimenting with because I was thinking about using this one for my uplink. So what you see here is my BAL-27, which is better at longer ranges, and the ASM-1, which is better at shorter ranges. Now, why two guns? Because, like I said, BAL, better, longer, ASM, better, shorter. You just really need to know how to balance those two. Going upstairs, checking doors, going into buildings, clearing out buildings. You want to use the submachine gun or ASM-1 because that's closer combat. So you're going to use the submachine gun for that. Long hallways, uh, wide open spaces. You're going to use the BAL-27 for those longer engagements. The closer he gets, you want to switch over to that ASM-1. Plus it's also really nice having the capability of going from a 35 clip straight to a 45 clip in half a second which essentially gives you 80 yeah 80 bullets at one time which is up near the heavy machine gun uh, ammo so it's instead of having to take that 1.5 second reload switch over guns in half a second to get the extra 45 or 35 whichever you're switching from so that's pretty much it guys that does it for all my classes I hope this helped out quite a bit um, it helped me out immensely uh, when I first started because I had no idea what was the good guns, what was the bad guns. I had to experiment quite a bit. I came down to the two guns, the BAL-27 and the ASM-1, which are the best guns in the game regardless of what anybody tells you. Those are the two guns you should be playing with if, you, if you're thinking about playing competitive or getting better. If you're just messing around, try out other guns. See which ones work for you. But those are the two that really work for me and pretty much work for the rest of the community. Everybody in the clan runs it. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, like, and don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out a lot, guys. 
and uh, just let me know in the comment section below what you guys would like to see. And I'll get right to it. I'll try to make those videos. If you guys want to see me run a particular class with a particular gun just to see how I do, let me know. I'll get right to it. I'll try it out and do probably terrible at it because I suck with every other gun. And don't you dare pick a sniper rifle because that's going to be a terrible, terrible gameplay. I'll just go negative every single time. Now someone's going to pick a sniper rifle. But yeah, guys, um, the giveaway is still going on at this moment. Still need 100 subscribers on my YouTube, 100 followers on my Twitch, and 100 followers on my Twitter. All the links are in the description below. Thank you, guys. This is Mr. Dippin' Gamer signing out. See you guys next time.